previously on The Heart of Belgium. All right, second Trappist Monastery, Chimay Check. We're leaving the town and now we're making our way to the town of Bouillon, which is about 50 something miles away. So let's do this. Made it to the town of Bu Yan. Feeling so good. That was a 55 mile ride. Uh, mainly uphill, downhill, uphill, downhill, gravel roads, gravel roads, uphill, downhill. Exhausted, beat, but this place is beautiful. Tree lined street, river running through it, and we're gonna grab some food, grab some beer, and just celebrate a really good day of riding in the Ardennes. Mm. Okay. Five seconds later, welcome to the other side of the bridge. Restaurants closed, everything closed, 9.30, closed. But there's hope. I think there's like a fry stand or a kebab. I'm still waiting to have like a good Belgian meal. It just doesn't happen because we're always riding our bicycles. Ah, well, that's pretty. That's pretty, that's pretty, that's pretty. That's what you get when you decide to ride a bicycle all around the country. You don't have options because you'll always pull in right after dinner, as we've been doing on very many occasions. Fries. Merci. Merci. This is exactly what we need. Thank goodness this guy was open because nothing else is open right now. Pretty good. Pretty good. our third Trappist Monastery, which also marks the halfway point of our adventure. We're like literally in the halfway mark, the lowest part of the heart of Belgium. But yeah, we toured the grounds, beautiful. Uh, however, they won't allow visitors into the brewery, which I noticed is a common theme with the Trappist Monasteries, is that they don't let you in on the action where they make the they make the beer and they make their goods so today we toured around the ruins also got some uh, some shots of the of the grounds and it's been a good ride so far gonna enjoy some beer here at Orval and also some lunch okay yeah let, let's do that that sounds good the beers have arrived we have three, we have the Orval Vert, which is a draft light version that is only served here. Orval Jaune, which means young, totally botched pronunciation, which is 6.2%, and then you have the Orval Aged Old, uh, which is 7.2%. Like any beer at this point tastes really good, let alone the greatest beers in the world. So my level of relativity is just totally off. Poppier than the other ones. Wow. That is delicious. Wow, that 
that's also very good. It's interesting that I can taste a very strong distinction between these and the Chimay beers. Just what, 60 kilometers, that's 80 kilometers by bike. You have Trappist monasteries that brew beers a similar way, but they taste very different. It's starting to get more exciting for me now that I know like the difference between the breweries. Before I didn't know what to compare it to, I'm like, yeah, it's a good beer, paired with some cheese. Not bad. Must be nice, guys. Cool adventure you got going on there. Oh man, we biked 100 miles. Oh, it's so hot. My helmet windshield's covered in bugs. Somewhere on day three, I lost all feeling in my left pinky. And after doing research, uh, I found out that Apparently it's a very common cycling injury. So there's a nerve, I think it's called the ulvar nerve, that's connected to my elbow. And now I can't move my pinky. That's me trying to do this. I can't, I can't open my arm. My, sorry, I can't open my hand wide like that. So I'm working with that right now. So my motor skills are a bit off with my left hand. Especially after a couple Trappist beers, right? <laughs> so outside of the Trappist breweries, there's an abundance of other independent breweries. There we go. First plate of Belgian mussels. A fly who's sharing this meal with me. <laughs> and this one I thought I escaped France. Got a couple French flies floating around here. <laughs> 